Mm -hmm. Now doctors are trying to get all Americans to take the flu more seriously this year. Just a short time ago, the Alameda County Public Health Department announced uh, that flu activity had reached widespread levels and is increasing across the Bay Area. And we've also learned a Napa County resident died yesterday of the flu. Doctor, a medical expert, Dr. Larry Burchette, joins us now with more on what we can do to help protect ourselves from the flu. Thanks for joining us again, Dr. Larry. I'll start by saying, hey guys. do you think people take the flu as seriously as we should? Every year we report on people dying from it, but people often don't get the shot or say, oh, I'll just power through. Yeah, it's certainly a conversation to have. We've talked about this before. Every year between 3,000 and 50,000 people in America will die from influenza. Again, depending on how bad the virus is and how good the vaccination is, it's the best thing we got. We certainly want to talk about that uh, in terms of what you can do. So Dr. Larry, I got a flu shot. Uh, I see people on the video here getting flu shots. Does that mean I'm protected or can I still get the flu? You're not 100% protected. Uh, it's not a perfect flu shot, that's true. But it does offer some protection. And like we said before, it's kind of the only thing uh, we had. One interesting thing that I saw in December, flu numbers have gone up predictably. We're in the flu season, and this is what we expect every year. But it dropped in the week between Christmas and New Year's. And I kind of thought about that for a minute. I was like, well, I wonder why. One potential reason is that people stay home. So we talked a little bit about that. I heard you guys on the intro talking about, well, is somebody really sick? If you have the flu, and the flu we're talking about fever, headache, body aches, and you can often have cough, upper respiratory symptoms, but it's really that body aches and weakness. If you have those symptoms, I would encourage you to stay home. I think that may have contributed to kind of a drop because between Christmas and New Year's, a lot of people don't go to work. Kids aren't at school. That's another thing that you can do that can make a difference uh, in terms of the flu. The flu. Well, Dr. Larry, I mean, even when uh, the California Department of Public Health says influenza has reached widespread levels and they have quotes in widespread, um, can you really put your finger on the, the, the reason why? I, I don't know what, what they mean by widespread. It, it, the numbers that I've seen is it's kind of consistent with what we see again every year, kind of end of December, January, February, March, in terms of flu season, which is it affects a lot of people, millions of Americans will get sick with influenza this year. It is a big it is a big deal. There's a lot of days of work lost. And when I see people in the ER with this, they feel like they're dying. The flu is not just a cold. It's not just a little cough and a runny nose. Right. This virus runs through your system and people feel really sick. I have to reassure them, you know, you're not some people can get really sick, but most people are not dying. It's just normal flu, which is miserable. Dr. Larry, I, 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 I get the flu shot, but on those years when it turns out that the strain of what's happening in the community isn't matched by the strain of what's in that shot, it can be very discouraging for me to go and spend another yep. $30 and half hour the next fall to get a flu shot that may or may not work. I, that is certainly understandable. This year's flu looks like it's influenza A. Uh, H3N2 are some of the subtypes that I've seen. Uh, from the CDC, CDC's report, I wish I could tell you that the flu shot is 100%, but it's not. Now, it's not zero. It's somewhere in between 50, 60% uh, effective. Uh, again, it's one of the best things we've got, and I would push every, encourage everybody, even now, it can still uh, offer you some benefit to get it. But I understand your, you know, I understand your, your uh, frustration that it's not perfect. Yeah, this is ongoing. We need, you know, we need better vaccines. Uh, Dr. Lair, we have to run soon, but I want to get in a question about kids. We all have uh, kids here. Uh, is there anything special that we can do to protect our kids who may not be the best at washing hands? Do you keep them away from other kids? What do you do during flu season? What would you do with your kids if you had any? Yeah, well, so number one is the flu shot. Number two, like you said, wash your hands. Number three, if they get sick, keep them at home. You know, be conscious of is there a flu outbreak going on at their particular school? Are a lot of kids sick, and, and do your best to uh, keep them out of that. And you know, something else in terms of immune system is take care of yourself. Get enough rest, drink enough fluids. Um, you know, make sure you're eating well and doing all that stuff, and managing your stress. That can make a difference too. In terms of, is your immune system strong enough to fight it off if you get exposed? How long you're going to be sick? So, in general, I'd say take care of yourself as well.
A valuable message. Dr. Larry, thanks so much for joining us again this morning. Thanks, on the Dr. Nine. I really agree with thanks, what guys. he said about if you're sick.